Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at this really cool set of effects from Stupid Raisins called Comic Pop, which I got from FX Factory. It's a set of effects that are given to you as a Final Cut Pro plugin, which makes them far more easy to use than if you had to import them as a video file and then play around with the layers and stuff like that. That would actually be quite slow and annoying to use and would mean that I wouldn't use them very much if they were like that. But here they are extremely easy to use and in my opinion, they look gorgeous. I love the way they look. There are videos from Stupid Raisins and from FX Factory showing these in use for action kind of stuff and I think they look amazing for that. But here I'm using them in my comedy videos which by the way if you're not subscribed to my comedy channel then I'll have a link down below to subscribe to that. There's still actually nothing on the channel uh, at the time I'm posting this video but uh, I'm sort of preparing videos right now and then I'll post uh, a bunch together probably one a day or something like that. So what I'm doing with these effects is I'm making the video a little bit more interesting, a little bit more animated, one of the ways that I'm making it not distracting is that I'm not putting this over any of the actual main parts of the video, meaning the parts that are actually the game that we're playing or the um, skit that we're doing, that kind of thing. Something that I'm putting over the areas which might be a little more boring, even though I'm definitely trying to keep down any sort of boring bits. So first of all, let's take a look at a few examples of how I've used them in this video here, and then I'll show you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use them, even though they don't really need a tutorial. I mean, they're super easy to use, especially because it's so easy to do. And you know, it's so quick to use this uh, plugin. I didn't have to overthink whether I want to add the effect or not. I can just literally drag and drop it and see if I like it. And if I don't, just remove it. Hey guys, I'm Nitsan. And I'm Athena. This is Lol Mouse. Welcome back to the first episode. We already have a huge amount of subscribers. I think it's about nine. So uh, we're gonna be giving out some <laughs> gifts to our subscribers. Charades done with a Wacom tablet. It's like this uh, pen type thing. Uh, I Googled it, it's magic. Think of a movie and you have to draw the movie and then I have to guess what you're... Um... Square. Cat, so let me wait two seconds, huh? Okay, it's a, a robot face. It's a dead robot <laughs> face. It's so hard to do it. <laughs> Little Billy uh, Free Willy. <laughs> You can't write stuff. Oh, my turn now. But I, 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 careful now, don't forget that I'm not very good on movies. Not very smart. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <I was> so... <laughs> I never saw this movie. That's fine. Right. Oh my god. I'll, I'll think of more, and uh, the answer is no. Hi, fat. No! Okay, so. So thank you, Philip John, for being our very first subscriber. You are getting a signed low pro. Uh, case thing? <laughs> yeah! Oh, who's a little so bit of What are you doing? It's not working. I need what? to sign it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We don't have any sponsors yet, but you can support this channel by purchasing a recommended item using the uh, Amazon eBay links below. A solar charger here, and it's got a crank charger there. So guys, we need your help to get more subscribers. So when we reach 500, Athena is going to shoot me with this pistol gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be lots of different kinds of funny stuff on the Lol Mouse channel, so if any of you guys would like to subscribe, then I'll have a link down below. Now, one thing that I think could be improved about these, not that it's a problem, but it could be a really huge bonus if these came with a matching sound effect, which then obviously, you know, you could disable or enable, that I think could be great, just because it would save you the time of going into your files, choosing the, the audio effect and adding that. Okay, now let's take a look at actually using this. So uh, here's an example in this part of the video. It's a little skit. Now, personally, I wouldn't actually choose to have these effect over this skit because I don't think it's needed or necessary for the comedy. But uh, just as an example of how to use this, um, I've uh, just dragged and dropped it onto there. And then I can see that it's too high. So I'm gonna bring this down. And it's lagging here a little bit, but that's just because I'm screen recording as I'm editing this. So then that is roughly in the correct place. So what I'm gonna do is maybe change the color of this. So I could say that I want the red to be green instead. And I could say that I want the glow to be something else. Mainly, that's it, it's dragging and dropping. And then you can, you know, you can easily move this around if you wanted to. Uh, so let's say, for example, I wanted it to be like that, then just, do this and it's done. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually move this by keyframes just by, you know, the same way that you do any other video. So let's say I wanted it to start over here. Then I would go over here to the video tab and in the transform in the position, I would press this little guy to add a keyframe. 
and then I go over to the end of the animation, uh, right where it ends, and I move it to there. And that's it. Now the keyframing thing is an advanced thing that you can do, but you don't have to. Most of them already have that motion in there. So for example, if I want this to have the smoke effect, I'm going to move it to the right length. So that would be there. Move it on top of there. So if I turn this thing on, then I can change the size so I can make this smaller. And if I grab from here, then I can also squish it if I want. And of course I can uh, rotate it to spinning fishy lines and then drag this to the correct length. A little bit smaller, I think. So I'm gonna drag this to there, move it to the correct position, drag it to here. I love how simple this is to use and I love the effects, I think they're gorgeous. Now, before we end the review, let's take a look at the effects that were included. Uh, all of these are different, which I love. I think there's about 60 different ones and each one you can have as a different color. So they come with a preset color. So for example, these are called energy and then these here are called electric. They're all uh, sort of a greenish, bluish color, but you can change that. So you drag it over to the area you want and then you can just you know change the color that you want it to be, change the glow color as well. And um, yeah, so, so it's not that, you know, this one only works as electric for blue things. So you've actually got a huge selection. Uh, so you've got fire, you've got one here for lines, which uh, once again, is great for motion, great for punching effects, that kind of thing. Uh, I think these look great as well. And then below that, we've got some shapes. So uh, these are sort of, uh, once again, sort of wax and uh, explosion-y type things and some smoke effects, which once again, I think looks great. And of course you could change the color of these as well. And then below that we have some text ones. So there's uh, two logo templates and two title templates. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Of course, I'll have links to get this down below. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video, bye. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.